Well, we were just trying to go to Starbucks, and that's close too. So we're kind of like, you know, surprised. <laughs> What were you, uh, you just wanted to get like a coffee or iced tea or something? From Starbucks? Yeah. Yeah, and we just wanted to get a Slurpee because we couldn't get that, but we can't even do that. <laughs> how, how depressing is this? Do you feel sort of a depressed well, by it? Um, like I'm just like, I don't really know why it's like all going on. Like just around this area it seems like the recruiters closed down too. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I guess because like I grew up with all these places and I'm just like used to them being there. The 7-Eleven. Uh, the 7-Eleven. Which one? Was there a 7-Eleven? Do you think maybe it might be partly to blame for the 7-Eleven closing or...? You know, I don't, I mean, I, I think a lot of the businesses are closing. I think it's just the nature of the economy. I, think I know there are some high rents. And the problem is that we feel like the landlords should take on some of the responsibility for our loss of business because, I mean, when you have a space like Blockbuster's empty for so long, it's their responsibility to fill these spaces. You know, we're the attraction to people coming in there. Their job is really just to keep people, you know, keep the businesses up yeah. here. So if it means lowering the rent a little bit, then that's what they should do. How is it to their advantage to have a space empty for four years when they could have lowered the rent a little bit and kept blockbusters there? How long have you lived in the area? Um, 30 some years. Wow. And uh, I guess, how do you feel about um, Cleveland Park? Is, do you think it's declining? It looks like well, it's Well, yeah, the decline. problem I think is, you know, the rents. And the rents are high because the assessments are high. And that uh, we don't have the density. This is, this is what people in the area don't quite understand. We don't have the density of people here to support neighborhood services, okay? A colleague of mine was joking that maybe Van Ness would become the new Cleveland Park. I don't see it. I mean, I don't think you've got enough room there. I don't think you have enough stores there. I mean, I don't see it this, the same way. Have you started to feel jealous of other neighborhoods, such as Mount Pleasant or uh, not really. Cumberland Heights? No, not really. I Van Ness can support a Starbucks. Well, you know, look, I come from New York originally. I mean, the, the restaurants here are all a little bit weird anyway. I mean, that's a Starbucks that's right next to a school and they're not open past 7 o'clock. Uh -huh. That seems a little odd to me. <laughs> all right, stop it. Do you want to hug? No, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Are you thirsty? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Do you think you might pass out? I think I'll make it, but it would have been a lot easier if I had a slurpee right now. What's the guy doing? It's my car. Why am I getting a ticket?